Hey guys, welcome back to Penfold Gaming for another episode of Planet Zoo. So, in the last episode, we was trying to get the gold star on on the uh, on this uh, level here, this career level. Um, so we're going to skip that for now and jump into the Panda Park and uh, start off with this. So let's jump in and start this now. Don't forget, guys, to hit that subscribe button as always. Let's, let's see what we've got to do in this park. I've also got a Discord server open if you um, would like to come and have a chat with me. Put the link in the description. Well, this looks um, very nice indeed. Ah, pandas. <laughs> They're my daughter's favorite animal. Aww. I think it's fair to say that if ever there was an animal which has captured the public's imagination, it's pandas. <laughs> oh, well, that's assuming you ignore cats and dogs, obviously. It'll take more than a cute bear to knock them off of the top spot. <laughs> oh, but did you know, thanks to the incredible conservation work that's being done in China and around the world, pandas are no longer endangered. <laughs> Excellent. Amazing. That said, they're still considered vulnerable. This park so, looks very good. This zoo is extraordinarily lucky and honored to be part of that conservation effort. It really speaks to our reputation. A reputation that you're going to be in charge of maintaining. Oh, along with all the uh, general maintaining, too. I really can tell you how important the welfare of those pandas is. Oh, wait, I can. <laughs> it is vitally important. The eyes of the world are on you, my friend. Although, <laughs> perhaps more pressingly, the eyes of Nancy are on you too. <laughs> <coughs> Welcome Why, thank to you. China. This China. Is Bernie's brand new panda celebration zoo. So <coughs> that it's not quite finished, but we'll deal with that later. First, let's take a tour of the zoo. We're on him. This looks uh, an interesting park. So, <coughs> excuse me, um, I've still got a bit of a sore throat, so, so we need to locate the giant panda habitat. So. Obviously, the giant pandas are the main attraction for this zoo, and luckily for us, we have one which was born just a few days ago. Oh, is there a lot? Let's go and have a look at it. Oh, oh go on. On. don't be shy. Select the panda cub and click on the camera to enter animal camera mode. Ooh, oh, for charging him then. Doesn't it just warm the cockles of your heart? So cute! Did you know that giant What's pandas or Isla Rocket and Melanaluca for being formal stuck up, are stuck the, in the only ground. <laughs> entirely herbivorous bears? Uh, they can actually eat up to 38 kilos of bamboo a day. Wow. Not that surprising, given that they'll spend up to 14 hours a day chomping away. I don't imagine this little fluff nope. ball has that kind of appetite the yet, though. food is out. Oh, no. Melon. I just got word from one of our keepers that a sable antelope was placed into a habitat without going through quarantine first, and that they're displaying signs of disease. Great. Right, we'll so... have to move them into quarantine to stop the infection from spreading to the other animals. To do that... Go to the highlighted habitat, find the infected animal, and then select them to bring up their information panel. Good. Clearly now not. click move and then transfer them into quarantine. I've highlighted the quarantine facility in the zoo for you. Is it this one? I've clicked on him. And I'd expect to see... Can't see any more in here. It's definitely pointing to this one, isn't it? Um, there's not one inside there, is there? No, I can't see one. It's got to be this one, surely. Um, so. 
move it over here. Oh, phew. That's a relief. Now that we've stopped the infection Let's come from up with it there now. Further, we need to build a vet surgery so the antelope can be treated and then return to his habitat. I've already highlighted where I'd like you to build it, so why don't we head over there? Right. Locate. No, right, okay, yeah, I'm there. In order to build the vet surgery, click on facilities, staff facilities, and then vet surgeries. Is that the one we need? Or do they want in a smaller one? Vet, vet, vet. Right then, where is it wanting us to... Whoa, whoa, what is happening? Oh. I've got to um, add to building. Oh my word, right. Let's get this right way. So. Why... Some kind of got, oh, it's got the wrong snap on, hasn't it? Um, let's get rid of that and get it again. I'm guessing that's where the door meant to be. But as soon as I go too far, it plonks it out. I've got to get away with it now. I don't know if it's sticking out the back or not. I'm hoping it's not. No, we've got a thing there. Oh. What? Come on. No, I'm asking you. Oh my god. I'm failing at this, aren't I, guys? Why is it? Right, there we go. Some doing. Right. That's the job. That was a, a lot harder than it should have been. Very important role in a zoo, as they're the only places that vets can treat the animals. <clears throat> Once there's room for the antelope, the vet will pick them up from quarantine and bring them to the surgery. Hmm. Yes, diseases can spread through a habitat quite easily, especially if the water inside it isn't being cleaned regularly. As it happens. I just got a report that one of our water treatment facilities has broken down and the water in the flamingo and saltwater crocodile habitats has gotten dirty. There. I've highlighted the water treatment facility for you, so you should go and check it out. Right. Yep. I guess we need to call the mechanic on, yeah? So I've located it. Click on the water treatment facility to bring up its information panel. Right, yeah, I've done that, so I'll call. While this is waiting, guys, um, would you like to see a sandbox mode uh, within this game? Starting me own zoo. Drop some comments below, guys. Definitely up for doing one, though. Where's he going with that? Right. So, we're just waiting for the mechanic to come. Do we even have any mechanics? That's the question really two mechanics I'm going to iron one plonking right there I'm going over two he's repairing it now look yes I don't think you need a degree in mechanics to tell that this thing's thoroughly banjaxed click call mechanic to get him to come over and fix it for us what had done that mean so just to explain <coughs> water treatment facilities work in a similar manner to power sources in that they have a radius of influence around them that means any body of water which is even partly within that radius will be cleaned automatically. Yeah. So also, basically like you can power use sources, if map. they get damaged, that radius of influence will shrink, meaning that it might you can stop see cleaning here where, water where sources the which are only just within its reach. If you want to check how much of your zoo is covered by your water treatment facilities, then there's a heat map you can use to see the coverage. That way, you can quickly spot problem areas and rectify the issue. Mm, there Good we go. work. Now that the water treatment facility has been repaired, the water will be cleaned up in two shakes of a lamb's tail. 
you can also use mechanics to repair power facilities, transport rides, spins, benches, signs, and, as you already know, habitat barriers. Now, I'll be honest, I'm still a little worried about I'm that disease here. scare we had, so I think we should do some research into it. Doing research into a disease can help prevent future so. outbreaks of it. And even if we do have an outbreak, it'll make the disease much less potent. So you can like see here, there's quite a lot of um, diseases that you can uh, do research, research on. Can be found in other than the, the, the animals so that you've got in your, your park. And get one of the vets researching it. Lovely job. Once that research is complete, I expect we'll send that disease packing in no time. Why, well, thank you. So that completed the bronze. Whew, so I need to locate the workshop. With those antelopes, <laughs> I dread to think what might have happened if you hadn't got them into quarantine as quickly as you did. Fast thinking there. We had a horrible outbreak of viral gastroenteritis here at Goodwin House. Although, luckily, <laughs> that was just limited to me and my wife. Hmm. Uh, what we doing? And finally, assign a mechanic to research souvenir shops by dragging and dropping them onto it. I can't wait to see what they come up with. Let's do this one out. Great stuff. That research will take a little while, so let's have a look at something else in the meantime. So, because once again, you've got all these research. News. So, you've got your vets and your mechanics. Um, and they can do different research for each uh, facility and stuff. Right, what was the next one? Sorry. Um, locate quarantine small. Okay, let's go over here then. Yep. It turns out that we're allowed to adopt more giant pandas. The authorities have given us three females to help with our breeding program. Even so, I'm sure you know how notoriously difficult it is to get pandas to breed, so we'll have to be patient. Our current giant Very panda patient. habitat is full to the brim, but luckily we've already got another habitat ready to go. But before we move our new pandas in, they'll need to go through quarantine. Of course, we can't do that until we've accepted them. So open up Animal Trading and okay. go into the Animal Rewards section. Rewards. Just click Transfer to Animal Storage next to each of the pandas and then they'll be sent there. Finally, we can send them from Animal Storage to quarantine. Oh. To do that, just select them in Animal Storage, then click Send to Zoo, and then click on the quarantine facility in the zoo. Don't worry, I've highlighted it for you so you can find it easily. Right, let's get them there. Oops. Select the right bit, it would help. Uh, there we go. While we wait for them to clear quarantine, you should set up their new habitat so they feel at home in there. I'll also need you to bring over one of the male pandas from our other habitat, but because without him, we're not going to have much of a breeding program, are we? Mm. <laughs> so go on, move him over and get everything set up for your pandas. Right. Move him into the new panda habitat. What, the quarantine? Oh, right, won't it? It said move the male. Uh, move one male giant panda out oh, to the new habitat. Can we find them this way? Um, what am I doing? Animal trading. Um, no, no. Yeah, so they're all female, so they've got to, I've got to put it in there, surely. Oh, that's, that's a female. Move. Why? What? Um, what am I doing wrong then? That don't make sense then. So move the giant pandas to quarantine, which you've done, yeah. Move one male giant panda to the new habitat. One, it says male, and I've got ah, I didn't realize it got flashing over there. Oh, my good grief! Right, I put you in here, 
No wonder I'm getting a bit confused there. So, right then, so we need to set up the uh, everything you need in here. So, um, feeding. So I'll put pandas. I'm gonna do a search for panda. Just uh, you can you can use these filters in here, but um, three meters, four meters. I'm gonna put one on each side. So that's. Let's get some toys. Surely they're going to need more than that, so let's put some bowls in. Oh, just unlocked an achievement. Um, add food. I've already added food. Oh, feeding station. Oh, food one, sorry. Uh, that, that's a roller, that'll give them food. There we go. Uh, increase the t terrain welfare to 90%. So let's have a look what they require. So an animal needs more grass short. So let's click on this. Does that need less long grass? So get rid of a lot of the long grass. So, work our way through this. Oh, that's gone green now, so we still need to get rid of some more of the long grass, though. There we go, right, we've gone green. So, increase plants' welfare to 90%. Wow. Uh, so, uh, biomass, we need temperature. So, this is where the fill is. Probably come in handy, so we're gonna go into there, plonk that filter on, and then let's start plonking some of these trees and stuff down. Is that one they don't like? Oh, but that's not the best uh, best one to use. Is it. So that's, you know, it needs to be 9%, so I'll we'll just put a few more bits and bobs in. Oh, it always, always does that when I press shift. Um. As, you can, as you can see, I'm, I'm not doing out massively great in the career mode. And concentrating as such as the layout, uh, but I think mean, that, that would look alright there on the wall actually, wouldn't it? Uh, so, why has that not gone to 90%? Oh, it's this plant that's 90%. Right, let's get Come on. Do I need to put some more bigger trees down? Oh my god, that's not it's not it's not changing the plants at all. It's just the coverage is getting better, so let's get rid of some of these. Which I've just put probably put that on. Yeah, with them, because they're. Why is that not letting me delete that now? I might go grief on. Panda!
Hundred percent. I'm looking at terrain. I'm looking at the wrong thing, aren't I? So they don't like these. So let's get rid of them. Where's he gone now? Is he, is he gone? Is he gone under here? Do you, oh, he's on it. He's on a break. Eighty-seven. Oh my word. So what? What does this percentage cover then? Not from the same continent as animal. What if? Just where's one of these? Right, so let's find one of these. So that seems to be. Duplicate that. And control D and it's not working. Why not? Oh my good grief. Has that helped? Now I've got to find my bear again. Why is it not moving? Plant type and coverage. Oh, why do you think the easy ones are gonna be not gonna uh, not gonna be as as easy as you think? I'm gonna keep going back in here for this polar bear. Alright, it's gone gone down to 89 now. So if we get rid of one of these lot, find one over one of these. Where's it? Where's it highlighting that? All the way up there. Oh my god! These are the flowers. Is it talking about a flower? Let's get rid of that. Has that not helped? Come on, my friend. Eighty-nine. I'm going to have to get rid of some of these. It's not going to let me do that that, that easy, is it? Oops, I'm breaking it all now. I'm breaking everything. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh my god, what's happening? Come on. Oh, it's gone down to 87 again now. Alright. I'll put that back to 89. I just need one thing. One little thing. 1%. Oh, it's no. Alright, that didn't work. One, surely one of these can just take me over the top <sighs> why why I don't understand why it's not going over there Do I need to put loads? Excuse me, I'm just having a drink there. Um. Let's see if this takes takes me down. massive <laughs> <laughs> I 
The coverage is going up. The plants. Bamboo. Should really should have just searched for the bamboo straight away, shouldn't I? Good news. There we go. Our new female pandas have been given oh, a it's a lot of difficult. Sorry again, guys. I'm doing this uh, late at night so again, and I'm really tired. And I hope you've made their habitat as comfy as possible, because animals will only breed if they're happy. Right then, so we need to locate the quarantine. So that's probably the one where we was at before. There we go. So we need to move. So we need to move the giant pandas from the quarantine to the new habitat. Top. Can we select them all and do all this at once? Yes, we can. Oh, bless. There we go. I think they'll be really happy in there. Fingers crossed we'll see some lovely new cubs sooner rather than later. Right. While they're being delivered, we'd better get on with something else. Oh, dear me. There's never any time to rest when you're running a zoo, is there? Well, <laughs> Certainly in. unless you hit the pause button. Wow. Okay, I think it's time I taught you all about work zones. I know, they don't sound as interesting as the animals, but trust me, they're ever so useful. You see, work zones are a way of making sure that your staff concentrate on specific habitats or tasks nice. within the zoo. So they aren't wandering off elsewhere when it's time to feed the animals or the like. So let's start by creating a new work zone and then assigning a keeper to it so that okay. they know to look after the new Here comes. To do that, go into the zoo section, then click on staff and then work zones. Now click on new work zone. To set up your new work zone, I'll need you to select the highlighted habitat gate, staff room, and keeper hut. Oh, and don't forget to name it something useful. All right. Once you're done, just go ahead and exit the work zone creator. There we go. So, oh, work zone ten. Panda. Let's call it Panda One. So, uh, and then it's got to show your contents of habitats and then to two facilities. Um. Now let's hire a new keeper and assign them to our new work zone. All right. We don't want them getting distracted by other goings on in the zoo. Staff. Go on, hire one. Uh, keeper. Then click on your new keeper to bring up their information panel and go to their employment tab. At the bottom, you can assign them to your new work zone from the drop-down menu. Panda 1. There we go. Just done that, my old fella. I've just done that. Why has it not worked? Where's he gone? Has he gone in? Include keeper. Uh, yeah, I've done that. So where's he disappeared to? Let's have a look then. So keeper. Oh man, I don't know which one it was. Is it this one here? No work zones. Um, panda one. So I've done it. Right, so it says iron assign a work zone to one keeper. I've done that. I've clearly just done that. I've got to do another one, maybe? No, because it's. Why? Do you know what? Let's just do it again. I'm going to call it work zone. 12 for some reason. Now let's get something else. Use the multi select tool to find a work zone. Yeah, that's what I just done. 
Okay. Oh my word, what is happening? Keeper. Do I sorry, should I does it tell me to put a vet as well? Include new panda habitat in your work zone, yeah, I've done that. Include keeper hut and include staff room. I've done that. Just clearly done that. Oh my now god. I literally did that twice, didn't I? Pandas. Oh, and just so you know, all types of staff can be assigned work zones. Just make sure that they have access to all the buildings that they need. And one last thing, you might find it faster to assign them from the work zones tab in the staff section of Zoo Management. Or do it twice like That's I just did. You <laughs> selecting your staff mm, one by dear. one. This building's quite Ooh, funky. I really like, like this. Grand research has been completed. I need to start uh, start reports. designing a few more things, getting on the workshop. On the I did do one yesterday, actually, guys. Back into mechanic research. Um, just a reptile house. Right, so collect research. Um, research. There now we go. that we've got our lovely new just a memento shop designed, you should build one of them near the zoo's exit. That way, the guests won't miss it on their way out, and we won't miss out on their money. So which one is it then? Memento. No, just Memento. There we go. Right, has it got one we're building? And they just shells. Shell. So where is it telling me to put it? Is it telling me to put it somewhere? Oh, it's just telling me to place it anywhere. What did it say? Oh, no, it's telling me to put it here, look. That's... I hate this stupid clicky thing. Oh, I just, I've got it set to add to building, and it's clearly not. Oh yeah, it is. Well, invalid rotation. What are you know about invalid rotation? Kill me now! <laughs> what is happening? Is it a walk path on the other side? No, there's not. So why is it? Why can't I click that in there then? I've got something stupid. Include building. Right, that's not going to work, so I need that on. Am I really just being silly here? Alright, I've selected the group. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go, right. So that's the silver done then, guys. Um, so, guys, I'm going to leave this video here, I think. Uh, and I'll continue again <laughs> on the gold in the forgetting that they're wild bears. in the next video. And good work on that new gift shop branding. Why, thank Just you, Bernie. <laughs> Very clever. Much better than our old overpriced gifts branding. Wow. Okay. I'm all for truth in advertising, but it was perhaps a little. I'll let him finish talking, shall we? Back as oh my word. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave this video here, so I'll see you soon guys. Thanks for the support.